Hey, what's going on here? TJ went ballistic on a senior in the hallway. Is that true? He went nuts, that's all. A guy's allowed to go nuts every 10 years. <laughs> now, TJ... I was wrong, very wrong. Now, I'm going up to my room to think about what I did, okay? <laughs> okay. Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Support them, support them, and show them, and show them. Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Support them, support them. Tell them who do you love? Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Let me know down below, who do you love? Remember the 10-year-old super smart boy genius, TJ Henderson in the 90s sitcom Smart Guy? Ever wondered what happened to him? Taj Mori is one of the most famous child actors in the 90s, with memorable roles such as TJ. You're new here, so you don't know how things work. There's this code in high school that governs the way we operate. It's the only thing that separates us from the animals. Actually, it's our opposable thumb. Or his character as Teddy on Full House. Hi, that's how they say hi in Texas. And of course, the tech guru Wade in Kim Possible. I'm patching through an elite scientific team for a satellite briefing. Please and thank you. With more than a dozen films and shows under his belt, just at the age of 35, Maury is nothing short of a living icon. But what exactly is the actor up to right now? Let's find out. Most of you probably already know this, but Taj is the brother of identical twin actresses Tia and Samara Mori, who are also known for starring in their very own sitcom along with a bunch of other successful acting roles. So it's safe to say that acting ran in the Mori family veins. Along with his siblings, Taj was born in Hawaii on May 17, 1986, and moved to California shortly after. While Taj's father served in the Army and also later on as a custody officer, his mother served in the military as well and later became a stay-at-home mom, and a lot of the credit for Taj and his siblings' acting careers goes to her since she spent most of her time managing their work, taking them from one shoot to the next. Taj has been acting since the age of three, and made his acting debut in the 1990s TV show, Who's the Boss, with a small guest role. And that was when he knew that he wanted to do this for the rest of his life. Of course, an acting career did not take away from his education. Instead of being homeschooled, he attended regular public school where people would often recognize him for his roles. But thankfully, the whole thing helped the actor become a lot more humble. After high school, he actually attended Pepperdine University in California, where he studied advertising. Taj was pretty serious about football for a while, but he ultimately decided to give it up for the sport of acting. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I ended up getting a, um, a, a D1 football scholarship. A scholarship? Yeah, to Savannah State. Yeah, and then I, I played for a year and I was like, you know what? I miss acting, so I'm gonna do that. I wanna keep my knees. Wow, you're a bona fide football fan. Yeah. His acting career continued alongside his education, and Todd starred in a bunch of memorable roles in popular sitcoms, such as Out All Night, Where I Live, Aladdin, Sonic the Hedgehog, What a Mess, and Timon and Pumbaa. But his breakthrough role came in the hit sitcom Full House, where he played the role of Teddy when he was just five years old. Teddy was one of the most adorable characters on the show. He was a confident boy who had a weirdly hard time saying the letter R. You are a strange kid. For Morris' performance in Full House, he was nominated not once, but twice for the Young Artist Awards in the category of exceptional performance for a young actor under the age of 10. In 1994, he also had the chance to play a role in Tia and Samara's sitcom, Sister Sister, playing the role of their cousin, Taj. That helped him land bigger roles, and he made his debut with the 1991 film, Rappin' and Rhymin', and then starred in the 1994 Disney movie, Let's Go to the Circus. With his role in the film, Disney realized that Taj had the main character potential. 
and offered him a role in one of their sitcoms in the process of production. This show was called Smart Guy. And when Taj accepted the role, he had no idea that it would go on to become one of the most successful shows, earning him tons of recognition for his portrayal of the character of a lovable boy genius, T.J. Henderson. The show premiered in 1997 and was one of Maury's most successful roles from the start. The show ran for 51 episodes, but unfortunately was canceled due to some internal disputes. But that didn't stop Maury from continuing his journey in the world of acting. Smart Guy paved the way for the actor to land roles on other sitcoms, such as Express Yourself. He even went on to star in a bunch of Disney movies, such as Hounded, The Poof Point, and 17 Again, where he starred alongside with his sisters, Tia and Tamara. But another monumental role in his career came in 2002, when Taj was offered the role of Wade in Kim Possible. Wade was Kim's friend and communications manager. Not only was Maury a part of the successful cartoon series, but he also featured in all of Kim Possible movies, including A Stitch in Time and So the Drama. Maury's acting streak continued with tons of guest roles in shows such as The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. But if you're wondering whether he ever strayed out of the Disney path, Let's just say he did, and very successful at that. The actor landed roles in Desperate Housewives and was even a guest host for The Real, earning him even more recognition. In 2007, he appeared in the movie, Are We Done Yet? In 2012, Maury made his official transition into the grown-up comedy with the sitcom Baby Daddy, which ran until 2017. Taj played the role of Tucker Dobbs, the hilarious best friend of Ben Wheeler. The main character on the show who impregnates his girlfriend and is left to take care of their baby girl, abandoning his bachelor life. With Maury's incredible performance and comedic timing, he was nominated by Teen Choice Awards in the category of Scene Stealer Male for Baby Daddy. But Taj hasn't restricted himself to acting and has decided to branch out of his comfort zone quite a few times. In 2015, he released his debut single called Flirt, produced by XL Beats. I just wanna flirt with you. After the song was received positively, he went ahead and released his very own EP featuring six songs. But for those of you who have followed the actor right from the start, you would know that he had previously let his singing talent shine with songs like Shine Your Light On Me, For School's Out, Christmas, Circle of Life for the Disney Channel, Circle of Stars recording of The Lion King, which was included on the Platinum Edition DVD and was featured on a single called Pick It Out with Boom Boom Satellites and Flo Rida. So it's safe to say that Taj has always been a man of many talents. However, for the time being, it seems that Taj has no intentions of getting back to his music career or releasing an album. He is way too focused on his acting right now. Since that has always remained his primary passion, currently the actor is working on his very own screenplay for a film that he is going to direct. In 2021, he branched out in his acting career, starring in a comedy drama called Welcome Matt, where he plays the role of an aspiring director who has the worst case of agoraphobia, the fear of going into the world. According to the actor himself, the role was a little different for him because it mixed comedy something that he already knew so well, with drama, a genre that he had never really dived into before. And while things are already going pretty great for Taj Mori, it looks like they are about to pick up even more because of a possible smart guy reboot that's currently in the works. The actor himself has spilled all the details recently, saying that while they don't have a date yet, the reboot is definitely happening. As far as the story goes, it's going to be a continuation of the original show but it will show what TJ and his family are up to in modern times, with TJ all grown up. At the same time, the actor mentioned that the reboot of Smart Guy will still retain all the qualities of the original version and will be the perfect blend of nostalgia and newness, making sure that all generations have fun watching it. The show will obviously be released on Disney+, Plus, considering the success of other rebooted shows such as That's So Raven. It is sure to be a huge hit bringing Taj Mori into the spotlight once again.
According to the actor, the cast of the show is in contact to this day, so it's safe to say that we'll see all of our favorite characters making a comeback, along with tons of other new characters, maybe even including TJ's very own little baby genius. Considering all of this, Taj's career has definitely come a long way, but by the looks of it, it still has a long way to go. Well, that's a wrap for the story of Taj Mori. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you next time, and until then, let me know down below, who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Support them, support them, and show them, and show them.